we always demand and beg for his uh, love and for his mercy and strength uh, to obey his commandment I will tell you <clears throat> once uh, every once you have known that we have to go then we should make preparation to go what are those preparations master tell us those people who are conscious they are dwelt and what the master wishes from them they should have a good life they should have a long life and they should work longer period for the humanity they should live for for the humanity for long long period that is the wish they should never have another wish than that so this is a a privilege that is given to all anybody who does so he will get the grace So you know master used to tell that if one is dwelt it is a big help for the master for <laughs> because a positive person supersedes many many thousand people so one person one awakened person if is created somewhere he can be a beam to all surrounding people he can be a a boon a virtues a special grace from the god power he will be a pole uh, full of right understanding so <coughs> such people will be created being created all are created and more and more will come up for that purpose master said a time will come when people those who have the understanding those who have the background they will all get together so we are fortunate huh, that uh, master has empowered us huh? master has given us strength huh, to work for him huh? otherwise without his strength we cannot work for him <laughs> and it is only possible from whom he wishes huh? so i mean to say huh, that if master is happy with us then no one is unhappy with us <laughs> we should never think that anybody is in the world is unhappy with us so happiness of the god that concerns to us all the times and then we are his worthy children because of his grace otherwise not <laughs> i learned from him only be to remain surrendered to him and never create anything from ourselves not allow the mind to react so this i beg for all my brothers and sisters so that we have a life of purity and outstanding ideas within ourselves that we are more and more close to the master power and you would say that anyone who works or spends for the god power he he is more close in contact with the god power and he is getting the food huh, all the time he is guided with him huh? his soul is guided huh? when your heart is trained huh? 
you need not to uh, do it with rod you don't uh, mean to use any instrument for it uh. so the instrument that is working upon us the mind intellect and all other faculty of the mind they cease to control us i tell you <laughs> uh, in reality uh. they have no function on our soul uh. soul becomes independent uh. so in this way uh, i see uh, a grace uh, that transcends from him uh, that overflows from him and it is the way i would tell you it is only the right way to beg something only for the right cause when we beg something for others and we cannot be a separate from it we also become a part and parcel of this grace guru nanak has told o oh god bless all but bless them within your will <laughs> it is a big thing i tell you because he if he blesses us within his will then our contacts from everywhere are broken and it is totally embedded with my master power so within his will i mean to say finally i would tell you that we worked within his will and we should always pay make prayers and rather we should meditate and what meditation while meditating those people who have a ruling passion for god work in their heart they are more benefited than those who sit otherwise because when you are sitting in meditation you have the ruling passion to work for god power you become conscious co worker of the divine plan and because it is god work god want you in this way he is very happy so master said his mission is a supreme mission is the i would say a god work a dharma a real true religion So now what is our purpose in the mission of the master that every moment we should take one step forward we should not come down we should not come back because more you need more it is there more you need help from him more help is there it is such a grace that more you spend more it grows the worldly wealth finishes with spending but here it grows so this such a grace you can utilize for all your contacts and you can even identify your spirit in the whole world and this will help a lot master mission <coughs> is not limited to all those who come and receive initiation from you but those are the blessed huh? those who get the initiation then work huh? their trials are finished huh? their trials are utilized but those who even hear about him they they also get a protection huh? from the master side within and this protection is not limited it can be unlimited because once the soul has some idea about the positive power then within it has a free will huh, to move, move either side this side or that side when that soul attains some virtues huh, 
during his lifetime the positive way of life then it will once go towards uh, step forwards toward that direction so uh, <clears throat> those holy scriptures especially guru granth sahib tells us that those who hear and what to say of living and doing with it that is a big thing uh, and there is no second wit but those even who hear it they are they are having the protections they may have to come back into the world but protection of the master is there they can they can get this advantage of life after but we should not take any risk and those risk means if you have understood then we should start to live and do with it so <coughs> i would say uh, this mission or uh, the whole play of the master through his children is rewarding one it uh, does not concern with the time factor it is a timeless work the fruit of the selfless service is also the highest one what is that fruit you would not get anything from the world uh, you will lose everything from the world but you will rise into the higher consciousness you become one with master power and you start for his work with eternal life huh? not a broken life huh? for the eternal life huh? you are with master all the time ਨਾਨਕ ਸੁਖ